The Pompey blue and white flags are being waved left to right, away to our right, and you'll hear that roar as the players start to make their way out the tunnel and out to Wembley Stadium. Portsmouth, due to be led by young Harry St. Ledger, a brain tumour sufferer who will get a dream moment. Kenny Jackett striding out as well. Aidan McGeady is standing over it here at Wembley. Three-step run-up over the wall, deflected and into the back of the net. And Aidan McGeady has given Sunderland the lead. A near-perfect free kick. McGilvery couldn't get across over the wall. And with seven minutes to go into the interval, it's Portsmouth nil, Sunderland one. It's been coming. <laughs> 1-0 Sunderland, approaching the hour mark, passed it on BBC Radio Solent and Express FM. Evans, a cross-field ball, looking for Jamal Lowe. Lowe nods it down, Pittman outside the box, Pittman shot off the post! Poppy inches away from an equaliser. Here's Lowe, 30 yards from goal. Pompey fans won't care about a record attendance, they want a goal. Clark driving to the area, Clark laying it off, chipped in by Evans to the far post. Thompson arriving, it's heads for the back of the net! Nathan Thompson! What a time for your first Portsmouth goal! He celebrates in front of the Pompey fans! And with eight minutes left, Portsmouth have levelled the match! Portsmouth won, Sunderland won! Portsmouth knocking on the door, six and a half minutes left of extra time, 1-1 one, one still the score. Long ball for Jamal Lowe to chase, Lowe brings it down, Lowe could be in! Jamal Lowe over the goalkeeper, into the back of the net! Jamal Lowe ripped his shirt off in celebration. 40,000 Pompey fans go wild. It looks like Jamal Lowe has won the Checker Trade Trophy for Portsmouth. It's Pompey 2, Sunderland 1. Playing around, looking towards the edge of the penalty area. Honeyman lays it off, Sunderland with a chance, ball in the box, White's there, no, Burgess wins the ball, ahead of him, Hume back into the box, White brings it down, can he get the shot away, McGeady, a great chance, Clark, he can't keep it out, it's into the net, and Sunderland have equalised in the 119th minute, Aidan McGeady, Matt Clark on the line, thought he'd done enough, but he hadn't, penalty shootout, the whistle blows, Aidan McGeady is first up against Craig McGilvery and he rolls it into the bottom corner and scores. And Gareth Evans to take right footed for Portsmouth, steps up and scores just through the goalkeeper. And it is Lee Catamol, the Sunderland stalwart, who right footed is saved! McGilvery saves to his left! First blood to Portsmouth! Brett Pittman to take Portsmouth's second right footed, scores. Good penalty comfortably into the corner looks like Lyndon Gooch third penalty Sunderland against McGilvery scores great penalty into the roof of the net no one is going to save that what a strike he is going to put his foot through it Lee Brown 2-2 Brown scores drills it down the middle three penalties each 3-2 to Pompey here we go for Sunderland into the back of the net they have their third goal but they've had four attempts as Jamal Lowe comes forward. Jamal Lowe will strike it with his right foot. McLaughlin all on the line. Lowe scores away to McLaughlin's right. So we're into sudden death of Sunderland. They must score. Eyes on Michael Brown, the screen again. Here we go. Steps up. Stutters scores into the back of the net. Ollie Hawkins is the man with the penalty and the chance to win it. He steps up, back, he'll hit it right-footed, and he'll score! And Portsmouth have won the EFL Trophy. They win it 5-4 on penalties. Ollie Hawkins is the hero. Pandemonium in the Pompey end to our right. The players all run out and leap and celebrate in front of them. As you imagine, a wonderful moment for the 41,000 here.